March 1, 2014. This cat had a wet inner area and so the owner brought him in. Now what is the problem? We need to sedate the cat because he's so unhappy. He hissed when we touch his tail. This cat is about 5.4 kg. At uh, 3 o'clock I give Dalazin ketamine. At uh, Dalazin 0.15, ketamine 0.6. I am for 5.4 kg. But it was not enough. The cat is in, uh, it was still awake even at 3. 20. So we need to give gas and uh, we give isoflurane and uh, now the cat is asleep it's quite, quite asleep then uh, it's sleeping we need to wrap him up because he was clawing now okay now I'm going back to this area what happened now we check the inner sac first yeah? check the inner sac there's a wound there you can see now the wound is on top no this oh yeah the wound here so the cat is licking it, so what need is to, is to express the inner glands. So whatever we do, we express the inner gland first. And uh, normally, it could be an impacted inner sac. And uh, although it's very rare in the cat, but it does happen. Have it, let me see, you can see from here. So you can see from this, that uh, that's why I suspected. Inner sac impaction. And uh, how old is this cat? Four years old. Four years old, yeah. And uh, most cats and dogs also, the inner sac oil can come out, but, but in a few cats or dogs, it can't come out. And uh, it's very painful and itchy. So we need to clean up for her. For, for her, and then uh, there's a bit more there. And uh, normally, after doing this, the cat will feel very much happier. And, what is this below? We need to clip off the hair here, so just clip off everything so that uh, it's easier for the cat to groom, to groom herself because it's very difficult for her to groom with all this uh, inner sac oil. As you can see, inner sac oil messing around her daily life. Cats are very clean and so. So they, they feel really upset if the inner ear is very dirty. So I asked my assistant nine to shave off the whole area below as well. So the cat is no more under anesthetic because it's enough. Now shave more and more. It's a female cat, so be careful. Of course, it's on the be careful of the private parts, huh? They, they don't shave off, cut the. They don't use scissors. Now the cat is about to wake up already. As you can see, so we have to be quite fast, quite fast. So I suspect the the vulva area. We need, we need to use scissors to. To, to, to cut the hair, the vulva area, so that uh, we clean up the part. Uh, this the small scissors to sh uh, clip the hair off. Yeah, it's very uh, messy actually. She might have been licking it for a long time. There was a uh, wet saliva all over the inner area when she came in. So. Uh, one must know the anatomy. If you know the anatomy, then we have to separate out. This is a female cat. I'll just slowly. Uh, is it a female cat? You check and see. It's a female cat. This is. This should be a female. Yeah. So use a forcep first. Then use a forcep to open up. Check where's the vulva. Vulva is matted maybe. Not matted hair. So the cat also cannot, cannot pee properly and then uh, the vulva is below. So this part must be sort of uh, shaved off here. Yeah. 
Hmm? This part can pull off the metal hair on this part. The metal hair is already inflamed to it. Oh, correct. Just like, like the ear, like that. So it's quite a messy job. Yeah. So the cat can't, you can't do it without anesthetic. Yeah. Just, just uh, pluck it off like, like ear hair, like in the ear, like that. Clem and pluck, yeah. Where's the vulva now, we can see. Uh, that part is important, uh, that part yeah. below. Uh, this part is inflamed, it's swollen. Uh, so we need to pluck off all the hair. That's right, this is the right way to pluck. Sometimes I use a razor blade to to shave off. Okay, so I will close this video and then uh, I will do the job. Okay, now let, let me do it. Okay, uh, March 1, 2, 0, 1, 4, Topaya West, Inner circulitis in a home cat.